Hey there, everybody. As you can see, I just went from inside in the stove to outside in very, very cold weather. I'm really bored right now. I really, really am freaking bored. Now today, I'm trying to make uh, one of my first uh, serious vlogs, and it is going to be about music. Now everyone loves music, whether you're into metal, punk, hip-hop, and anything. I mean, everyone loves music. Now I am a man with simple taste. I like rock. I like any kind of rock except for very, very hardcore screamo rock, which is like... I, I don't like that kind of music. Many of my friends at school, they like rock. Now, music began a long time ago. I mean, it was just cavemen banging six together. Or clapping. And then when medieval times came in, they had what they called modes. Shut up, you birds! They had a thing called modes. They had a thing called modes. Modes were in medieval times. They were before notes actually became notes. Now, after the modes, then came notes. Uh, modes were mainly used for choirs, and then notes took over for different types of instruments. The very first instruments were probably violin, oboes, bassoons, cellos, harpsichords. Um, I think it's called a celestra or a celestra. I, I don't know. And many people know of many people who played harpsichords and violins. Uh, main people, Beethoven, Bach, Mozart, uh, all the main people. We get it. And then we get into different types of genres of music, like blues, gospel, um, rockabilly, uh, country. Y you name it, they had a genre for it. The only genre that did not take off until probably the late 1940s, early 1950s was rock and roll. It got really big in the 50s. And mainly what rock and roll was back then was just like rhythm guitar. And guitar really wasn't introduced until probably the mid 50s. The main guy to introduce guitar was... Anybody know? Come on. Come on. The man himself, Chuck Berry. If you don't know Chuck Berry, Chuck Berry uh, did... Uh, Johnny Be Good and My Dingling, which were his best songs, and Rolling Around in My Automobile. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's probably one of my favorite songs by him. But then, in the late 50s, a big tragedy struck every rock and roller that there ever was. The day was known as the day the music died. Buddy Holly uh, was the lead singer of The Crickets. J.P. Richardson, who was known as the Big Bopper, was just on his own and Richie Valens all were on a winter tour when in Iowa in Iowa I think when shortly after takeoff their plane crashed these were probably the three biggest rock and rollers back then and then rock and roll just stopped dead in its tracks in the 50s but then a group named the Beatles came out of nowhere and were like we're gonna take rock and roll and we're gonna make it what it's gonna be. Cause we're the Beatles. And then you have probably what everyone would call the classic rock age. Classic rock bands were probably in the late 60s, early 70s, which would probably be the Beatles, the Monkees, uh, Beach Boys, and what the crap was that? Where was I? That's right, Beatles, Monkees, Beach Boys, probably Aerosmith was in the mid 70s, I believe and just basically them but also in the 60s and 70s the guitar got even more complicated and more soloists or yeah guitar soloists came to be one of those guitarists was the all favorite Jimi hendrix hendrix was probably one of the best guitarists in guitar history I mean, he was just amazing. He could come up with everything. He could play with his teeth. He even lit his guitar on fire and did some sort of dance over it. He was just the all-around badass of the time. He shortly died in the late 70s, and then we get into the 80s, also known as the hair band era. Big bands from the 80s were probably Iron Maiden, uh, Judas Priest, Metallica, Extreme, and then we get 
after the 80s. Nothing really big happened in the 80s. Uh, then we get into the grunge stage of rock. Grunge was probably, the two main bands that I can think of are probably Pearl Jam, bleh, Pearl Jam and Soundgarden. Those were probably the greatest influences on grunge in the 90s. But then, we get into today's rock. Now me, I consider today's rock is probably more solos or more solo artists like uh, Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, uh, Buckethead's a really good one. Well anyway, I got some homework for you. Your homework is to post a video response saying your favorite genre of music, favorite era, and your favorite band. Anyway, I'm gonna go play some Xbox Live, and I am Hyper Fat Kid, and I'm 